Biodiesel and ethanol are the two main biofuels primarily used in India as a transport fuel. Biodiesel is a first generation biofuel that uses low cost and non-eatable feedstock to generate a carbon neutral source of energy. Biodiesel is formed as a result of the direct conversion of biomass into liquid fuel which can then be balanced. Biodiesel is formed as a result of direct conversion of biomass into liquid fuel which can then be blended with conventional fuels. So welcome to Enter Climate. My name is Shalin Verma and let's start the video with the process of biodiesel production. The raw material for biodiesel production primarily comes from non-edible oil seeds like jatropha seeds or palm sterin oil. However, due to a shortage of jatropha seeds, other feedstock like used cooking oil, animal fats or crude oils are also being used to produce biodiesel. The resultant product of the process is comparable to conventional diesel. Biodiesel can be blended with regular diesel at a 5 to 20% ratio. The biofuel policy that came in 2018 was the latest guideline that addressed biodiesel blending. Through this policy, the government aims to achieve a 5% of blending ratio with diesel by 2030. These developments hint at a massive demand of biodiesel in future and new businesses can tap into this opportunity by setting up biodiesel plants. Such a business can expand its production to include the second and third generation biofuel production too. Biodiesel production is getting popular in rural and urban areas due to a high profitability in this sector. The oil seeds or oil waste used to produce biodiesel typically accounts for more than 70% of the total cost. Some other advantages also come with this business like the fact that biodiesel needs no separate infrastructure for storage and dispensing and the existing storing facilities like tanks or dispensing stations of conventional diesel can also be used. Oil marketing companies are also periodically floating expression of interest for procurement of biodiesel produced from used cooking oil. Moreover, the blending of biodiesel with diesel results in a reduction in the amount of unburnt hydrocarbons carbon monoxide and other particulate matters in vehicular emissions. Adding to these advantages, the fact that biodiesel is very similar to diesel fuel in composition and therefore there is no need for engine modification too. The flash point of biodiesel being higher than conventional diesel has also led to a wide acceptance of this fuel. Now if you are someone who is interested in starting this business, you must know what licenses and documents you will be needing to set up a biodiesel plant. After registering your business, you will need to apply for a factory's license as every unit engaged in the manufacturing process employing 10 or more workers with the aid of power or 20 or more workers without the aid of power is defined as a factory and therefore needs a factory license under the Factories Act. You will also be needing an explosive license because for storage of any combustible fuel can be potentially dangerous. Therefore, one has to obtain an explosive license from the Directorate of Explosives. Finally, a consent certificate from your respective Pollution Control Board or Pollution Control Committee will also be required. The consent to establish and consent to operate must be obtained before the unit's establishment and the starting of the operation respectively. Let's see what documents you will be needing for Pollution NOC application. So along with the duly filled application forms, the documents like the layout plan, detailed project report with the total investment of your project, land related documents like rent agreement or lease agreement, industries re registration documents, details of process and the source of effluent discharge like air emission, solid waste, hazardous waste that is being generated, list of machinery, balance sheet certified by a CA, the consent fees and uh, laboratory analysis report of the industrial effluent and emissions. Now let's analyze the scope of biodiesel plant business by analyzing the present market. At present, this business is still in a niche segment but growing very fast. India's demand for biodiesel stood at 1,70,000 tons in the financial year 2021 and is expected to reach 2,60,000 tons at a healthy CGAR of 8.6%. 
until 2030. The government has also notified the guidelines for the sale of biodiesel for blending it with high-speed diesel for transportation. The National Policy on Biofuels 2018 identified domestically available used cooking oil as a potential feedstock for biodiesel production. Also, with the coming up of the National Policy on Biofuels, the demand for biodiesel is set to witness an upward trend in the coming years. India's initiative towards promoting cleaner fuel will elevate the country's overall biodiesel demand. As India's primary energy demand is set to double in the next two decades, using cleaner fuel alternatives will continue to spur the sale of biodiesel as a fuel. Now allow me to explain how Interclimate can assist in your biodiesel plant business. With a market understanding and expertise in environmental laws, we offer your biodiesel business a personalized service to our clients based on their interest and business objectives. Interclimate is also a one-stop solution for all legal and procedural requirements to start your own biodiesel plant. So I hope you found this video informative. Subscribe to our channel and contact us regarding any businesses queries that you may have. You can also visit our website for related information and explore other startup related ideas. Thank you.